My cherished one, I want you to know how deeply I love you. My love for you is unchanging and unconditional, and it has been there from the very beginning. You were once lost in your sins, unable to love me or even comprehend my love for you. But through the working of my spirit, I breathed life into your soul, making you spiritually alive. It is this spiritual awakening that enabled you to turn away from sin and accept the gift of eternal life and boundless love that I offer you as you reflect on the miraculous gift of salvation. I encourage you to let gratitude well up within your heart. Gratitude is a powerful force in your journey of growth, and grace it opens your heart and mind to my word, allowing you to gain wisdom and understanding. A heart filled with gratitude helps you see the countless blessings I bestow upon you, even in the midst of challenging times. It shields you from discouragement and self-pity and deepens your awareness of my constant presence and the vastness of my love for you. So my beloved, nurture your gratitude for it will nourish your love for me and cause it to flourish brightly. Joy is a choice one that you must make repeatedly throughout your life on earth in the glorious eternity of heaven. Joy will be yours effortlessly and eternally. But during your earthly journey, I desire to help you make wise choices. You can choose positivity and hopefulness in every moment. Strive to find joy in the midst of your daily life. If you sense discouragement, frustration, or other negative emotions creeping in, use them as reminders to turn your thoughts to me. Seek my face, engage in conversation with me, and declare Jesus. I choose joy because you are my God and Savior, and nothing can separate me from your loving presence. The prospect of the righteous is joy and your prospects are indeed excellent because I have clothed you with my robe of righteousness. Begin each day with eager anticipation, ready to receive the joy that I have in store for you. Some of my followers miss the pleasures I have prepared for them because they focus too much on the problems in their lives and the troubles of the world instead of living life to the fullest. They live cautiously, attempting to minimize pain and risk. But that is not my plan for you as you awaken each morning. Seek my face with hope in your heart. Invite me not only to prepare you for the challenges ahead, but also to open your eyes to the joys I have placed along your path. Take my hand as you start your journey through the day and allow me to share in everything you encounter, including all the moments of joy, thankfulness, and trust, are like steadfast friends who are always ready to support you when your day seems bleak and the world feels frightening, rely on these faithful friends' pause. Take a few deep breaths and look around you for beauty and blessings. Thank me for what you find, and this will connect you with me in a beautiful way. Speak to me with gratitude, expressing appreciation for the many good gifts I have provided. Thank me wholeheartedly, even when your emotions are turbulent as you persist in expressing your gratitude you will discover that joy begins to fill your heart. Additionally, frequently voicing your trust in me will remind you that I am with you and entirely dependable. There will always be areas of your life where you need to trust me more deeply. When difficult times arise, view them as opportunities to expand the scope of your trust. Embrace these opportunities to draw nearer to me for I welcome you with open arms. Expressing thanks to me awakens your heart and sharpens your mind, allowing you to fully enjoy my presence. If you ever feel out of focus or distant from me, take the initiative to thank me for something, anything that comes to mind. There are always an abundance of blessings to choose from, both eternal gifts like salvation, grace, and faith, as well as everyday blessings reflect on the past 24 hours. And take note of all the good things I have provided in that short span of time. This practice will lift your spirits and sharpen your thinking. Remember that your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Therefore, it is vital to be self-controlled and alert when you find your mind drifting away from me, making it susceptible to the enemy's influence. Remember that you can drive away the enemy by offering thanks and praise to me. This is a form of spiritual warfare through worship, and it is highly effective. I created you with the purpose of glorifying me. Make this your central focus as you navigate through each day, 
express gratitude frequently, seeking out the blessings I have bestowed upon you in your life, both big and small. Praise me not only in your prayers and songs, but also in your interactions with others. Share with them the wondrous deeds I have done and declare my greatness, join together with fellow believers and worship at your church, where the weight of my glory can be palpably felt when faced with decisions. Consider what would glorify me and bring me pleasure this approach will help you make wise choices and keep you aware of my presence instead of getting lost in self-analysis seek my guidance as you think through your options. I know every detail about you and your circumstances and the better you understand me, the more effectively I can guide your decisions. Strive to deepen your knowledge of me, for my word is a lamp to your feet and a light for your path. Receive with joy and gratitude the blessings I shower upon you, but do not hold on to them tightly. Be willing to release them back to me when necessary. At the same time, I want you to fully enjoy the good things. I provide the best way to do this is by living in the present moment, refusing to worry about the future. Today is the time to revel in the blessings I have given you, whether it be the presence of family and friends, your talents, your possessions, or any other gifts, look for opportunities to bless others in return. When I take away something or someone you hold dear, it's natural to grieve your loss during these times. Draw nearer to me, cling to me, for your relationship with me will never be taken away from you. Let me be your rock, your refuge, your source of comfort. Often I provide unexpected new blessings to console you and guide you forward. Be on the lookout for all that I have in store for you. Give thanks to me, for I am good and my love endures forever. Set aside time to reflect on the countless blessings I have bestowed upon you. Thank me for the precious gift of life, both your own and the lives of those you love. Be grateful for everyday provisions such as food, water, shelter, and clothing above. All remember the greatest gift of all eternal life through knowing me as your savior as you contemplate all that I have done for you. Take delight in who I am. I am completely good, and there is no darkness in me. I am the light of the world shining forth with radiant purity. My love for you is unending and eternal, encompassing all of time and beyond. Even now, you are surrounded by my loving presence, regardless of what is happening around you. Always remember that I am close to you. Even when you may not sense it, trust that I am with you and take comfort in my unwavering love. Allow me to teach you how to live more in the present moment. The future, as people often envision it, is not a concrete reality. When you appear into the future making predictions, you are simply engaging your imagination. Only I possess knowledge of what is yet to come because I am not bound by time. While you progress through each day, I unfold the future before you step by step. However, you never set foot on anything but the present moment, recognizing the futility of dwelling on the yet to come. Times can set you free to live more fully in the present. Becoming free in this way can be challenging because your mind is accustomed to wandering into the future. It will when you find yourself lost in thoughts of the future, acknowledge that you are venturing into a realm of imagination this awareness will help you return to the present where I eagerly await you, ready to unfold you in my unwavering love. Don't be afraid to confront your sins. There has never been a sinless person except for me. If you claim to be without sin, you deceive yourself and avoid the truth. Confessing your sins can be incredibly liberating, knowing that I am faithful to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. The good news is, that I have redeemed you, paying the full penalty for all your sins. When you confess your wrongdoings, you align yourself with the truth. Since I am the truth itself, your confession brings you closer to me and frees you from the weight of guilt when you become aware that you have sinned in your thoughts, words, or actions. Admit it without delay. Your confession doesn't need to be lengthy or eloquent. It can be as simple as saying, forgive me and cleanse me. Lord. I have already done the hard part, enduring the cross for your sins. Your part is to live in the light of the truth, I, your Savior and the light of the world. 
I am your strength, Lord, and your refuge on days when you feel strong. This truth may not resonate as powerfully, but it remains a source of encouragement and hope that is always available to you. When you sense weakness creeping in, use it as an opportunity to cling to me, your secure lifeline. You can call out to me at any time saying, Lord, save me. Let my unfailing love comfort you when you feel like you're sinking in life's struggles. Remember that. I not only strengthen you, but also hold you close and never let go. I have a firm grip on your life, dear one, because I am always near. There's no need to fear your moments of weakness. In fact, my strength is most evident in your weakness, and the two complement each other perfectly. So thank me for your weaknesses and place your complete trust in my ever-present strength. The very essence of my words is truth, absolute, unchanging, and eternal truth. In a world where many are succumbing to the notion that truth is relative or non-existent, it is essential to focus on what is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and admirable, instead of dwelling on what is false, wrong, impure, or ugly. I encourage you to shift your attention to the things that are true and praiseworthy. Many in the world focus on negativity, which leads to despair and self-destructive behavior. The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers to prevent them from seeing the light of the gospel of my glory. The gospel is a radiant, powerful light that reveals the wonder of who I am and what I have done. This good news has the potential to transform lives from despair to delight. All my children filled with my spirit are well equipped to be bearers of this light shining the brilliance of the gospel into the lives of others. I invite you to join in this glorious venture utilizing your gifts and seizing the opportunities. I provide I understand that you may feel weak, but your weakness perfectly aligns with my purpose. My power is most effective when it operates through your weakness, my beloved. I want to remind you that truth is not only an abstract concept, but a living reality. It is embodied in my character, my words, and my actions. Therefore, you can trust in my truthfulness and rely on my promises. My child, let these words sink deeply into your heart. Embrace them as my personal message to you for I long to connect with you on a profound level. Always remember that you are dearly loved, and my presence is with you every step of the way, our Amen. If you truly believe in God, like, comment, share, and subscribe to channel.